So far, the war has seen British, Indian, Australian, Kenyan, and New Zealand VC recipients. Today, we finally get a Canadian. The Canadian Army was not present for the desert fighting in Africa, so their first major engagement was at Hong Kong in December 1941, where 2,000 men of the Royal Rifles of Canada and the Winnipeg Grenadiers had arrived just weeks before. Unlike the Philippine or Malay campaigns, where the Japanese were victorious against much larger Allied forces, here they attacked with a force double the size of the British, Indian, and Canadian garrison. On the 8th of December, the same day as the landings in Malaya, and, because of time differences, the same day as the attack in Hawaii, Japan's 38th Infantry Division began the invasion of Hong Kong. Ten days later, the Japanese landed on Hong Kong Island itself and made rapid progress. The next day, 19th of December, the Winnipeg Grenadiers took part in a counterattack, moving to recapture Mount Butler, just north of the Tai Tam Reservoir. The hill was a steep one and covered in vegetation, making it difficult to capture, but part of A Company, led by Company Sergeant Major John Osborne, managed to do so, holding it for three hours. Company Sergeant Major Osborne was born in Britain, serving in the Royal Navy during the First World War and seeing action at Jutland when he was 17. He moved to Canada for his health post-war and served briefly in the militia in the 1930s before joining up again at the outbreak of the Second World War. He worked to keep the retreat from the hilltop as organized as possible, keeping the main withdrawal covered with a small party before engaging the Japanese on his own in order to allow the rest of his party to escape. Under heavy fire, he helped stragglers reach the company's new position. Eventually, his men were cut off from the rest of the battalion. The company commander stepped out to surrender, but was simply shot from a distance, and the Japanese continued to attack the Canadian's position, closing to grenade-throwing distance. Company Sergeant Major Osborne kept up the defense of his beleaguered position, picking up and tossing back several grenades in succession. Soon, one landed in a spot where he knew he couldn't retrieve it and throw it back in time, so he shouted a warning and dove on it, absorbing the explosion with his body, but saving seven men around him. The remnants of the company surrendered later that day. The Battle for Hong Kong ended, as all knew it would, with most of the island's defenders surrendering on Christmas 1941, and the rest surrendering over the next two days. Like squadron leader Scarfs, Company Sergeant Major Osborne's Victoria Cross would not be gazetted until 1946, when the men who'd not only survived the battle, but the next three and a half years of prison camps had come home. 